Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The Psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy, and to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the Psalm has in the Dewey Rames Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Douay Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 45 in the Douay Rheims Bible, but Psalm 46 in the RSV. Unto the end, for the sons of Kor, for the hidden. Again, we see the sons of Kor, Korah, mentioned here, as in the last psalm, but this time, instead of understanding, the hidden are referred to. This is most likely a reference to people who are hiding because they're afraid of something, the intended recipients of the psalm, since it's mostly a psalm of reasons not to be afraid. Our God is our refuge and strength, a helper in troubles, which have found us exceedingly. Already we see why the people hearing this psalm might be hiding. They're living in troubled times, and they turn to God to help them survive, providing them protection, refuge, and the strength to go on. Therefore we will not fear, when the earth shall be troubled, and the mountains shall be removed into the heart of the sea. Their waters roared and were troubled, the mountains were troubled with his strength. Even if enormous earth-shattering events happen in our lifetimes, as long as God is with us, there is no reason to be afraid of them. The stream of the river maketh the city of God joyful, and the Most High hath sanctified his own tabernacle. At this time, the tabernacle was the place where God was worshipped, and this psalm refers to a river that brings joy to that place, but that only God can make it holy. In the final chapter of the book of Revelation, a similar river is described, flowing out from God's throne and containing water of life. The tree of life was on both sides of the river. And he showed me a river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Revelation 22, 1 bringing life and immortality to people would be sure to increase their joy. Because of this, this psalm is often considered prophetic. God is in the midst thereof. It shall not be moved. God will help it in the morning early. The place of worship for God will be secure and protected by him, starting at an early time. Nations were troubled, and kingdoms were bowed down. He uttered his voice. The earth trembled. God's actions and choices are mighty and have strong effects. Even the most powerful countries of all time can be disrupted or flattened if God allows it. The Lord of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our protector. The God worshipped by Jacob, who led the people of Israel in the early days after freeing them from Egypt, used his power to lead their armies to victory, and also commands the much, much greater army of the angels. In all our talk of God's mercy and gentleness, we should never forget his holiness, or the severe consequences of ignoring his will. Come, and behold ye the works of the Lord. What wonders he hath done upon earth, making wars to cease even to the end of the earth. He shall destroy the bow, and break the weapons, and the shield he shall burn in the fire. Armies shouldn't exist for the purpose of making war, but for the purpose of preventing it. God's goodness is what leads to wars being ended, or even stopped before they can start. Be still, and see that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. The phrase, be still, is a calming phrase, just as it was when Jesus used it to stop a storm in Mark 4.39. It's meant to remind people that the victory of God over the world is an inevitable victory, and that the troubles we live through in our own lives will always pass away. The Lord of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our protector. Again, God's strength and authority are used to protect his people. Even when people sometimes suffer in this current life, that suffering always passes, and God is waiting on the other side. So, this is a psalm meant to calm and comfort those who are suffering and afraid in harsh and or dangerous times, not with false hope, like lying worldly leaders, but with the true hope that God will be there to protect and receive his people, providing for them with infinite faithfulness and love. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.